Hi folks, Kevin here. Well, today I thought I'd share another one of my failures and uh, some insights that I have as a result of experiencing this failure. So I'm over in the work area, and the work area is attached to the greenhouse, the future greenhouse that isn't up yet, and the chicken coop. And uh, so I've been over here doing some work, and, uh, and the chicken coop is right behind me. And one of the things that I'm, uh, w the topic that I want to bring up is in permaculture, we always talk about trying to have every, every single element in our design process uh, provide many different functions. And so when we think about a chicken coop, they've been integrated in greenhouse design several times. Hank, please. So when we talk about uh, chicken coops and greenhouses, sometimes we, in permaculture, we integrate the two. One of the benefits would be, well, it's in close proximity to each other. If we can tie the, tie the buildings together or put the chickens in the greenhouse, they can provide CO2, which the plants need for photosynthesis. And so it's a mutualistic, beneficial uh, relationship. Chickens can also take some of the waste products and compost that down and use that as a food source. They can also provide compost for a food source for the plants as well. So it's this really nice continuum. Uh, chickens can also produce heat, which can help to raise the temperature in a greenhouse as well. And all of those factors are certainly true. However, one of the things I did when I designed this place is you can see the wall behind me there. That's rough cut, basically 1x12s or 1x10s that make up the wall between the chicken coop and the work area. Now the work area is a common area in between the greenhouse and the chicken coop. So by having the rough cut wood there, it did have some shrinkage effect, and therefore there's a quarter to three eighths of an inch in between each board. And as a result, the airflow flows into this area where I start all the greens at this point until the greenhouse is up. All the seedlings, rather, the seed, the seed flats. Well, there's a bad side effect of it. What else do chickens do? Well, they produce lots of fe feather dust and they do dust bathing as well. So they kick up lots of debris, uh, dust in the environment and that comes through all those cra cracks as well. So that's something I didn't take into account. So I'm gonna have to put some insulation there and certainly there's gonna be another wall there eventually. But I don't go too quickly when I'm doing my finishing of the designs. I see how well the flow works and the design works, and I just wanted to share that failure with you. And hopefully you'll consider that if you're thinking about integrating a chicken coop or other uh, critters into your greenhouse design. So that's it for today, folks. I thank you so much for watching the video. Please give it a thumbs up if this was of value. Share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks so much. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye now.